Hey everybody, this is HD and welcome back to another HD video. We're going to be looking at a Zerg versus Terran and it is going to be Demaga spawning as the red Zerg and his opponent is going to be Mares who is spawned as the yellow Terran and for some reason I do not hear any music. Wait, 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 there it comes. I hear the Zerg beat in the background. I thought I had to change that up but Anyways, it is going to be a ZVT, and as you guys know, um, I've been talking about starting my own tournament, and that definitely is going to be my plan now, as there was a resounding yes from all the comments below. A lot of people were like, do it, do it, do it, HD, and I was like, no, I did not cut out there. I just had to have a sip of my beverage of choice. Um, yes, I will be doing a tournament, an HD tournament. My plan is to start it on the 1st of December, and yeah it's gonna be a couple of weeks away so it's gonna give me enough time to plan out the logistics i already have a couple of people who are going to be working on an intro so there's going to be an awesome theme music an awesome uh intro you know, little scene that's like 20 to 30 seconds long at the beginning of each game and uh i'm working on the player list right now as well so if you guys have any suggestions that you guys want to throw into the list please add it in uh post it down in the comments below tell me what players you guys would like to see in this tournament and i will do my best to try to get them so post it down below and if you guys like the suggestions then all you have to do is click that little cool thumb icon that thumbs it up or if you guys don't like it i guess you guys can thumb it down uh, that's the power of democracy and I will go ahead and look through that list and I will select the players that I'd like best it will be a 16 player invitational and hopefully uh, it will commence on the 1st of December so anyways this is going to be Demaga versus Mers don't want to get too sidetracked when I'm casting um, and it is going to be a TVZ this is in the IEM which stands for the Intel Extreme Masters Tournament and I think it's a tournament that runs monthly or every couple of months. I'm not exactly sure on the logistics, but it is going to be a best of three. And everyone knows Damaga. He is one of the world's best Zerg uh, situated out in, I believe it's in Russia. I could be wrong. Um, there's going to be a bunch of angry Russians coming to my doorstep in a couple of days. Uh, <laughs> or whatever nationality Damaga happens to be. I know he's from Europe. Murs, I'm not too sure about. Uh, it looks like Murs will be pumping out an early Reaper here, and he's got an SCV placed just outside the hatchery, but Demaga wisely has an Overlord there placed, so he will see if there's any kind of a fishy bunker going up. And Demaga should be relatively well prepared for any kind of uh, shenanigans with that early Reaper, but we'll see what happens. Here comes the first Reaper, already has his destiny laid out for him, or it was laid out, there was a bunch of waypoints, but. I guess fate has uh, has another fate in store for him, and he is go. Oh, there is going to be a bunker being placed right before the creep could have spread over to that location. That that bunker is like a thorn in the side of the creep, and the reaper will be going into the main to kill off any zergling so that the bunker can go up. Here comes the reaper. Gonna oh, good micro from Mers picks off the first zergling. We'll get the second zergling as well. Two carcasses on the ground of Lost Temple, and the bunker as a result will go up, and there goes the reaper. Uh, twitching out finally gets inside the bunker one spine crawler trying to go up for Demaga as he knows he has to hold on to this hatchery should he lose this hatchery that will be a huge investment loss Murs here feeling very confident going to be throwing up a command center of his own so a good old Terran taste your own medicine style you know if you're gonna go fast expo I'll go fast expo on you but before I do that I'm gonna get a Reaper out and whoa it looks like uh, Murs is going to be salvaging his bunker uh, not exactly sure why he decided to salvage there. I thought he was in a great position, but I guess he's going to fall back. Uh, perhaps he doesn't want to risk losing the Reaper, although I'm still not really sure why he salvaged it. I guess he assumed that Demago was going to be coming out with Roaches pretty soon and he wouldn't have been able to hold on. He will pick off this drone, however, which was doing scouting duty. Run, drone, run! Oh, it's poor drone. And now the Roach is way out of position. The Reaper is going to get a... Well, it's not going to go into the main either. So, Murs is being very, very cautious with this initial Reaper. And he's just going to be hanging back for now as he starts to secure his own fast command center. And he's going to try to pump his eco up ahead of the Zerg player. Uh, now, before this game really gets heated up, I wanted to say, wow, it is. There are thunderstorms outside my house right now. And uh, I guess there was a pause in the game. But there are massive thunderstorms right now. I don't know where you guys live all around the world. 
Uh, but I live on the west coast of the United States, and right now we are experiencing the transition from uh, long summer days to very cold winter nights. It's already started to become uh, dark, and it's only 4 p.m. So it is very, very dark, and there are thunderstorms outside. It's raining like crazy. I don't know why I started to talk about that. I guess I got very sidetracked, but... Um, what was I going to say? Here comes a roach. Going to come in. Oh, it takes a couple of shots from the bunker. Will fall back, but that was a very good scout because now Damaga knows that there is a command center up here. And strangely enough, Damaga's, creep, or Damaga's overlord's positionings are not very good. Um, maybe he's affected by the bad weather as well. Who knows what's going on, but his overlords could be placed much better than this. Or perhaps maybe they got picked off by some early marines, but it looks like Murs here is going to be aggressive. He's salvaging his bunker. This is always a sign that the Terran player wants to start to push out. One SCV to scout the front door to see what exactly is going on at the front of the Zerg base. No spine crawlers except for one here at the base. And this is because Damago was expecting some kind of dropship play, but that's not going to be the case. Murs going to come up here, pick off the initial roach on the production tab. We don't have much coming up. This is all there is for Damago to defend. And Damaga could be caught in a horrible position. Will lose that first spine crawler, and a quick stim should take down this hatchery very easily. Not even bothering to stim. There comes the stim. Murr is going after the queen, and he's going to try to pick off as many drones as he possibly can. I think he really should finish off this hatchery, though. What is he waiting for? I guess he's going to go straight up. Oh my goodness, a lot of banelings morphing right now. Damaga needs to get these banelings out quicker. The banelings nest falls. These are all the banelings that are going to be out for the game for now. And all the banelings coming in doing some good damage, but good spread from Murs keeps his Marauders alive, and now the Zergling is coming out. Damaga has to hold on. He loses his queen. He only has a handful of links left. Can he take off these two Marines and the Marauder with five Zerglings, four Zerglings, three Zerglings? The <laughs> numbers just keep changing. It looks like he holds on, but reinforcements from Murs. It, apparently, they finished off the hatchery, and they are going in for the kill. Oh, Damaga is in a horrible position. He he has kept the majority of his drones alive. Scratch that. Now he's starting to lose his drones. Murs gonna marine micro his marines all the way to the back where it's nice and safe behind the spawning pool and the mineral line. The Zergling is having a difficult time getting that surround off and now drones becoming the next casualty of war. Oh, so many drones going down before the Zerglings finally dispatch of the marines. Now... Uh, it looks like these marines will get intercepted as well, so Damaga breathes a sigh of relief, but wow is he ever behind, losing that expo, he's at 25 under 46 harvesters, Murs has now secured the front door, and this first game of a best of three between Damaga and Murs, not going well for Damaga at all, I don't think he was expecting such an early aggressive attack from the Terran player, but uh, that's what happens when you get caught with your pants down. You are going to lose your hatchery. And Damaga now seems to be in a in a state of confusion. He is throwing up a spine crawler at the at the middle of the map. And I guess he's going to try to he is getting a new Banelings nest, so perhaps he is going to try to Baneling bust the Terran player down because everybody can see that he is so far behind in economy with only one base of the Terran that really, if he doesn't do something drastic, if he doesn't try to Baneling bust or go for a double hatchery expand, he is just going to lose this game in the long run. And there comes the Banelings, so they are morphing. Uh, the Overlords actually have, believe it or not, oh, what was that? A Marine died. The, Overlord believe, the Overlords, believe it or not, do have the ability to drop. So perhaps Damaga is going to try to be fishy here. He's going to try to do some Baneling drops. And that may be enough to get him back in this game. It's going to be a tough call, though. One more sip of my lovely beverage there as the Supply Depot is hide underground. Uh, Murs looks like he's throwing down a couple. Wow, a lot more barracks and a double engineering bay. So he is going to try to get those upgrades for the Marines and Marauders, which make them, you know, so much more powerful with those higher weapon damage, higher armor. Uh, the dropship's now getting loaded up, so Murs might try to drop on the ledge, only to find that really there is no hatchery here. Uh, Damaga is still on one base. He hasn't really been producing any more drones. He's actually loaded up an Overlord over here, and he's got an Overlord over here, so he might try to go for some kind of a two-pronged Baneling drop, but wow, the longer he waits, the further behind he falls, and really, I don't know what the hesitation on Damaga's part is. He needs to go in there and drop as soon as possible because that income is really making a difference. Here comes Murs 
dropping on the ledge above, but uh, only to see that there is no hatchery down there. And that has got to be a little fishy. Let's go ahead and take a look at Damaga's player cam. He's got his overlords selected, but he's not moving them in yet. Still kind of fooling around with the Banelings, and he's playing very indecisively right now. As we switch over to Merz's player cam, he is just, <laughs> yeah, he's just macroing back at home and controlling those dropships. Uh, still to see that there is no hatchery. He is going to stim his way forward, however, up to the ramp. Uh, to see what exactly is going on inside the Terran base. Here comes a drop, though. A double prong drop from the Banelings. Oh my goodness, Damaga is going to do so much damage. Down goes the SCVs. So many SCVs falling as a result. I don't know how many died, but I have to say... <coughs> oh, woo! Ugh, that was such an explosive Baneling drop that my nasal cavity couldn't stand it. And it looks like... 40, I would say about 25 SCVs went down because the number before this was close to 70, now down to 45. So was it enough for Damaga to get back in this game? I don't know. It's going to be a tough call. Here comes the Baneling and Lings, though. The Banelings have to hit the Marines. Oh my goodness. So many Banelings going down and two Overlords dropping off more Banelings, adding insult to injury, but it looks like the, the more heftier mech will survive. That's the advantage of going for mech and marauders. They are so beefy. The banelings don't really do too much damage to them. Some wings trying to do some cleanup duty. But as the marines file back the uh, reinforcements, I think Damaga will have to GG. GG calls Damaga a valiant effort nonetheless. So I really think that he played quite, quite well in that game. Uh, I mean, he, at least he stuck it in till the end, even though, you know, a lot of hope was gone. He didn't quite give up. He tried to do that double Baneling drop. In fact, I would like to see those Banelings drop one more time. If you guys uh, have no uh, opposition to that, I think I would love to see those Banelings because I didn't exactly see how many Banelings uh, killed off how many SCVs. But, where they are they? Where are they? Where are the Banelings? Come on! Oh god, I guess I'm gonna have to set my friend list to uh, off, but here comes the overlords, and here comes the banelings. It was a great two-prong drop though, I do have to say, oh my goodness, so many SCVs went down. So, that was quite a massacre at the mineral line, but as you guys can see, he was at 64 harvesters, and then he dropped down to 43, so... Certainly a lot of damage done by Damaga, but not quite enough. And we are going to move on to game number two between Damaga and Murs here in the IEM uh, tournament. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that broadcast. Once again, stay tuned. We are going to have the tournament coming soon. The HD monthly tournament, if you want to call it. And uh, yeah, post in, your co in the comments down below. Tell me what player you guys would like to see. HD signing out till next game.